Hello viewers, 4DIYers here with another tutorial video for everyone. In this particular video here, I'll be doing a demonstration how to solder wire with a mini soldering torch. As always, if you're not a subscriber, then be sure to hit that subscribe button. If you have enjoyed this video, don't forget to give me a thumbs up. So considering I am working with heavier wire, 12 gauge, my soldering iron isn't exactly powerful enough to work with this wire. It will eventually heat up with patience and time, but it takes far too long. For this, I am using a small handheld torch, which operates off butane that can reach temperatures of 1300 degrees Celsius or 2400 degrees Fahrenheit. It's important to work in a well-ventilated area, wear safety glasses when soldering. Strip the wires accordingly, close to about an inch back to expose the conductor, and you do not risk burning the insulator. Considering we are working with a higher heat source, it's very easy to burn the insulator, so take your time and be careful. For this I'm using an adhesive filled shrink tube as this will be used in an outdoor application so it's protected from any moisture or water which could corrode the conductor. If you are using a heat shrink, install it before twisting the wires together. As for twisting the wires together, I am using something similar to a Western Union splice. For more types of soldered wire connections, be sure to check out my ultimate soldering guide, link will be included in the description below. When using one of these torches, we want to use the hottest part of the flame, which is the inner blue cone. The tip of the inner blue cone must touch the conductor when soldering, otherwise the connection may not heat up enough or take far too long to heat up. If you go closer to the source of the flame, it's just like the outer flame layer. This isn't the hottest point. Now we're ready to solder the connection. The connection will heat up quite quickly, much faster than compared to a soldered iron. The copper conductor will start to change color slightly, and this is when we know the solder is ready to be applied. For this I am using rosin coarse solder. The rosin is an electronics flux which can be used to clean the conductor when soldering. Do not use an acid based solder such as what is found in plumbing applications. This can damage the connection over time. Do not use an excessive amount of solder either where it will weep back in behind the insulator and this can create an excessively large hard spot within the wire. Moving on to the other wire to give you an example, again twisting the conductor together. This is great for working on heavier gauge wire or working in areas where you may not be able to use an electric soldering iron. Heat the connection up and then apply the solder just like before. Remember, keep the inner blue cone touching the conductor when you are soldering. If you wish, a lead free solder can also be used which has a reduction in harmful fumes, is more environmentally friendly and is able to withstand higher heat applications. Sometimes I find the solder doesn't always flow as nicely as compared to a soldering iron as the flame has a tendency to blow or push back the solder. So you may need to flip the wire over and apply the solder to the underside of the connection. Just to give you an up close look at the soldering torch I am using, these are quite cheap to purchase, styles do vary. This is a refillable torch, others may use a lighter instead which connects to a torch conversion case. And a close up of the connection. Allow the connection to cool down before applying the heat shrink if you are working with it. If the connection is still hot, this may shrink the tubing and can cause problems with the application. Other forms of connection sealant can be used. I do have a video on this for creating a waterproof seal. Link will also be in the description below. When using heat shrink, only use a heat gun so you greatly reduce the risk of burning the insulator so a lighter or a torch is not recommended. New videos are being uploaded every week to this channel. Show your support by hitting that subscribe button below my video. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up, and if you have any comments, please feel free to post them. Thank you for watching. 